Well then, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon and a schöne good Nachmittag, buon pomeridì. Buenas tardes, buon pomeriggio, cari signori, cari signori. Welcome to the last of today's exciting live machine demonstrations in which, once again, we're going to introduce you to a revolutionary machine. I'm talking about the IMA ERCA ESFL, which is a linear chainless indexed filling machine that is going to take its market by storm. It offers extreme or rather unprecedented flexibility, but who better to explain all the innovations, all the features of this revolutionary machine than our product expert. He is the sales director and key account director at IMA RK. Please welcome or bienvenue, Joan Degardin. Thank you very much. Hello, Joan, welcome. Thank you. Joan, I have promised a lot. I have said that this machine is revolutionary. So what makes this machine so revolutionary? What makes it stand out from its competitors? Yeah, so this machine, first of all, based on all the experience that we had in the past, it's more than 50 years at Erka on the dairy business. So we have developed this machine for the trendy products. So it means this machine, first of all, is a chainless machine. There is no grease. So first of all, chainless machine is a real innovation in our, in our world. There is no more in the competition. So then there is no grease on this machine which gives this machine very flexible, very flexible in terms of packaging, very flexible in terms also of product. We'll come back to that later. And also on this machine, we have developed also our HMI, which is something very special also, very innovative uh, HMI on this, uh, on this machine. And then this machine is, is also uh, built for the future, I mean, First of all, she's flex the machine is flexible, but also versatile. It means in the future, if you want to add something on the machine, you can. We can cut the machine, enlarge the machine, and add some other parts in this machine. All right, so if it's fit for the future, means that it must be somehow sustainable as well, oh, right? This is so, so, but don't you think that um, when we talk about packaging and we talk about packaging sustainability, the key lies ultimately in the materials that are used for the packaging. Exactly. So with this machine, we can use different kinds of materials, sustainable material, of course. We have a complete mono material. This is a cup, label cup material. We have a mono material in a PP. We also have a PET mono material cup. And we have also on this machine, which is absolutely new. This is what we call a reclosable snap on lid. It means instead to have your lid and the snap on, you have only one thing. So it means instead to have three things that you are going to as a waste at the end, you only have two. All right. Well then, can you show us the various components of the yes. machine in order for us to understand how it actually works? Yeah. So this machine, so we start by the beginning. We have the cups here. We have a cup deck stacker here as it's a show. We, we do not have uh, it with the machine, but we can have a uh, cup de stacker with, uh, with a certain autonomy of 20, 30 minutes. Then we check if we have the cups. Then we go to the filling station. The filling station also can be flexible because we can have one filling station, we can have two filling stations, etc., etc., for multi layer products. Then we arrive, we arrive to the lid. We take the lid. We decontaminate the lid. We put the lid on the top of the cup. We seal it. We start to seal it. Then we finish to seal the lid here. And then we go to the end of the machine and we put out the cup for the end of line after a while. All right, well, thanks for this detailed presentation, but are there maybe more components that, that are not installed here, but that you could present or showcase? Yeah, exactly, you're right. So for example, this, this space is completely empty. And then this space, we can make a decontamination. Either decontamination by UV lamp, either decontamination by pulse light. I mean decontamination of the cup. Then, as I mentioned already, we can add some other uh, dosing units. And then here we can make also a cup leakage control after sealing of the cup. 
Then here we could have also uh, inject system to put the date, inject or laser or something like that. We can have also a snap on in on the, on the cup here. And then we can add also magazine for snap on in and magazine for the cup in order to ensure at least 20, 30 minutes uh, autonomy uh, for the cup and for the snap on in. All right. So I understand this is a new machine, this is a sustainable machine, but being sustainable as a company also means producing machines that can work for a long time without having to be you know, replaced with newer ones, which is of the sustainable approach. So my question is, have you already implemented similar solutions in uh, your existing machines? Yes, you're right, because before RK was very known in uh, what we call the FFS, the Form Field Seal Technology. And then now it's new with this FS technology. So for the FFS technology, we have already implemented also this new material, the sustainable material, like we have seen for the cup, the polypropylene, mono material cup also, the cup, the lid and the label. We have also implemented PET, which is uh, today's a trend for multi-pack yogurt with a specific uh, technology for the cutting tool coming from the group, a partner from the group. And then these two, and then we have also some, some other like the PLA or something like that. But the two main ones, which are the PP and the PT, are already implemented in our uh, machine, FFS machine, traditional machine. All right, Jean, thank you very much for your very detailed presentation of the new FSL, F E F S L. <laughs> it's a complicated name coming from Ima Erka.